Hello. As you can see here, I have a three high modular piston door. Modular meaning that it can theoretically expand it forever in this direction. Now, this definitely isn't compact or simple, but it exists in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So I'm not going to go into the details about how it works. I'm just going to show you how to build it. I'm going to be showing you how to build this tree high modular piston door using this box. You're going to want to start by replacing these floor blocks in the center and two blocks below it with whichever block you're using for the door. Under those blocks, you're going to want to place a tree high set of regular pistons. Now next to those pistons, you are going to want to place the sign wall circuitry. And it is literally just redstone dust on top of blocks with zero, three, and six ticks of delay. And then you just wire it up. This will take a bit, so I will just skip to the part where I have finished it. Now that you have the sign wall circuitry done, which is also the extension circuitry, you have to make the retraction circuitry, which is a line wall circuitry. This definitely is the most complex part. However, it is literally just two sets of double piston extenders. One has pistons on the face of them. The other has observers that are facing away from the pistons. So as I said, all you literally need to do is build two du double piston extenders. I will be playing music in the background. For this falling edge monostable circuit that I am building, you can use any other falling edge monostable that works in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, but I like to use this because it is my own design. All you need to do is make sure that the, fi that the final output has a total of 12 ticks of delay. After you have done one double piston extender, you need a total of 10 ticks of delay, and then you just build it again, making sure that the two secrets don't combine.
this falling edge minus stable circuit, you need, you need to add an extra four ticks of delay. So now you have the retraction circuitry done. So if you just put a lever right here, you can flick it. As you can see, the pistons get activated. And if you flick it back, everything gets retracted. Now that you have the extension and retraction circuitry done, you need to wire it all up to a single input, as done with the yellow circuitry. You start by wiring up a lever to the sign circuitry. Then you make a falling edge monostable circuit with a total of four ticks before the output. And then you wire that up into a very short pulse extender. And then you wire that up to a slightly longer pulse extender. And then you set a repeater to have three ticks of a delay and you just wire the output into the line circuitry. And then if you flip the lever, The whole 3x3 modular piston door works. Although I keep talk calling it a 2 by 2 piston door, it's really a 3 high modular piston door. And so let's say you want you don't want this to be a 2x3 three three door. You want this to be, let's say, a 3x4 door. What you simply do is you punch out this wall. You extend out the roof and floor by one, unless you don't want corners. You replace these columns, as I'm showing right here. You just simply put these columns up here, and then you just extend these, the circuitry. This goes with the sign world circuitry and the line circuitry. So as you can see, I extended it by one on the bottom, and on the top, I just do the same thing. Except I'll have to replace this line wall with a bottom facing sticky piston. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a three high modular piston door. Bye.